Just a quick reminder that you guys can hit the link in the description to check out my new official merch. Uh, you can help support the channel and our boy Slowpoke. Welcome back to Pokemon Sword. We just defeated the water gym last episode. It was quite interesting. Now our next order of business is to head to the next coal mine. Um, we're going to take a look at the town map real quick just to kind of see where we're at. So... Uh, we're just supposed to head south. It's going to lead us to Galar Mine number two, which then brings us back to Motostoke. Uh, so we have the outskirts, which we have not been to yet. Uh, that area was blocked off. So our next gym is going to be in Motostoke, but we've got a little bit of way to get there. So no, we haven't been down this way. Got a fisherman, fisher lady. When you see one of those giant Pokemon while fishing in the wild area, it feels like it's either catch or be caught. It sure does. We have ourselves an item over this way. Got a shell bell. Increases H or restores HP every time it inflicts damage on others, which is actually not too bad. Also, if you missed last episode, we have quite we had quite a bit that went down. We were able to evolve our Firefetched into Surfetched. And also, we got ourselves the evolved form of Wooloo. So this thing is an absolute beast. Uh, I suppose we could just leave Chiding in front for now. I, I kind of just want to see Surfetched in action. But the team is looking great. And uh, I'm excited to see what we're going to find in these upcoming areas. So, I'm just going to head... This way, got some hopscotch, and it's a little elephant boy. My god, we need this thing so bad. If I can find one of those, I have to catch it. It's just, the hardest part about this point is I don't know what I would get rid of if I if I find something new. I really like how the team is shaping up to be so far, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Calamine number two is a good spot. It's full of rock-solid Pokemon. Cool, so we're just going to head into the old tunnel and see what we got going in here. So, ooh, we got ourselves a Wimpod, there is a Scrafty, or Scraggy, I mean, and then there's also Shellos. So, this is actually really cool. Some interesting Pokemon in here. Whoa, that dude just straight went right into the water. Uh, we're not going to really catch anything in here. Um, I do want to kind of stick to mostly just catching Gallard Pokemon, as much as I do like our boy Scraggy and Shellos. Let's go for a nice little fish here and see what we can fish up. It is a Barboach, okay. So that's something different. We haven't seen uh, Barboach yet. Getting access to a lot of new mons at this point. We're just going to go ahead and Rock Smash this thing. At level 21, we can probably use a little bit more experience. Uh, rock Smash almost killed it with a crit. And this thing's going to Amnesia. So, just going to go ahead and forget everything somehow that raises its special defense. Does anybody know why Amnesia raises special defense? I have no idea. But, alright. Barboach goes down. And Surfetch just absolutely smacking fish with his stick. Love to see it. Cool. So I like the design of this place. The, the glowing gems are awesome. And oh, would you look who it is? We have BD. We're, we're just going to call him BD. I thought BD was a girl for like the whole first part of this. Turns out it's just a uh, a guy that looks like a middle-aged woman. I'd feel sorry for my Pokemon if I, if I made them take part in battle against low-level opponents. Not in the mood to deal with weaklings right now. Then again, I suppose it's a form of mercy to crush weak opponents early on. If you're under the misguided imp impression that you're stronger than me, then surely you would be up for a Pokemon battle. Naturally, let's do it. So they gave you the option to change up the team if you'd like. Uh, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure he actually uses... all Psychic Pokemon, if I remember correctly. He's gonna lead with the Soul Assist. So yeah, we have seen that before. He has four Pokemon. Uh, so Chiding is not gonna really like taking a psychic attack but we do have brutal swing so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, see how this looks with a new animation just about what you can expect and that is gonna just knock that thing out directly so sorry about that little solacist looks like you've grown a bit only a little bit though so we get some solid experience next up is a gothita All right, we could brutal swing the hell out of that thing too but what I want to do here is let's go into snowball I we haven't seen uh, evolved Wooloo in action yet. And I am uh, excited to see how this bad boy performs. Looking pretty cool. It looks like a soccer ball. But don't go kicking Snowball. He'd be pissed. Alright, or she would be. Let's uh, let's just headbutt this thing. It's level 22. So a little got the to... BD just specializes in just the tiniest Pokemon ever. Why, why do you have such small things? So a Psyshock. We're relatively bulky. Doesn't hurt too bad. One more headbutt's gonna do it, and oh, there's a super potion. Okay. So, BD's got some money these days. 
but that's fine because we'll knock you right down to the same point and then we're faster so also i like how when we use headbutt we kick it with our hind legs that's not much of a headbutt but you know not one to nitpick i got my uh i got a fresh can of g fuel going i was actually given uh, a nice little taster pack of g fuel has cans now and they're actually amazing i got the rainbow sherbet right now you guys should definitely hit that link in the description test out some g fuel it's kept me alive throughout this whole let's play next is a hatena and that thing is the weird little hat guy i don't remember much about this thing we're just gonna stay in it seems like it would be fairy type but then again he's got all psychic i think that's his, his thing so you know what we're just gonna go ahead and give you a nice little headbutt level 23 maybe we can get a flinch let's call it flinch boy not every day i get to battle you so i suppose i may as well try out this move and side beam okay He's going to try out the old side beam. It doesn't even knock us to half, so that is totally fine. Even though you're level 23, this thing probably evolves into something pretty cool, you would assume. But One more headbutt knocks out the Hatena, and we are looking pretty solid here. Next up is Ponyta. Are we about to see Galarian Ponyta for the first time? The Psychic-type Ponyta. What should we go into for this thing? Tootsie has Power Trip. I think it's just pure Psychic. I really don't remember. Barney has no business doing anything here. Let's go into, uh... Chiding's level 23. We're going into this, and we're going to get a crit. We're going to absolutely destroy it. With that stick, Farfetch'd is OP. I'm so happy that I was able to get Farfetch'd relatively early on. Not everyone can corner my team like this. So, here is our first look at a Galarian Ponyta. Unfortunately, we're not able to get one of these things. Because... Alright, it's this... Uh, Pokemon Shield exclusive. So if we're gonna take a Psychic, we'd be able to take that pretty nicely though. And I really don't remember if this thing's just pure Psychic type. Brutal Swing is gonna absolutely destroy it with a crit and your Cotton Candy Pony is dead as hell. So that is gonna do it. We defeated Beatty. You suck, boy. You showed at least a little effort, so I decided I should let you win. You should <laughs> decided to let me win, huh? Ah, pardon me. Seems I must... Take back my words. You're not weak. You just lack talent. Choices of completing the gym challenge are pretty slim, I must say. Here, I'll give you this. Something to show you at least tried. Well, got ourselves his league guard. Where shall I go next to collect? All right, well, looks like in the background there we have some more construction worker people that we saw last time. I also kind of want to try fishing one more time. Let's try it in this slot just to see what else we might fish up. Seems like there would be some crazy stuff. I don't know if there's really too many... Uh, new water type Pokemon in this game. We haven't seen many so far other than that Barracuda thing. It's just going to be another Barboach. And uh, that is fine. So Chiding is still in front. Not sure what types these uh, construction workers are going to have. But I'm assuming lots of rock types. So let's just continue. What is that? I thought we could pick that thing up. But no. Alright. What's up guy? My Pokemon is bursting with energy. What I mean to, what I meant, mean to say is please battle me. These construction workers are really not getting a whole lot done. If y'all all out here just battling all damn day. Alright, Francis got the car coal. So, we love our car coal as well. Who hasn't actually gotten a lot of use lately because we had the water gym and all that. So, we're just going to go right for a rock smash. Absolutely smash the shit out of your coal. And that is going to hurt you quite a bit. Level 21. So, a little bit scary. Going to go for a flame charge. And it looks like we do need to heal up. I was kind of hoping BD was going to heal us up, but he's too much of an asshole, so. Now it's going to smack down. This thing uh, is going to get that speed boost from the flame charge, which is fine. Not very effective, even with a crit. We've taken that nicely. And a rock smash is going to do it. Down goes your Karkul. Super excited to see what Karkul evolves into. I'm assuming since it evolves twice, it's probably going to be a while till the next evolution happens, but. Uh, Chiding grows to level 24, and Barney up to level 22. We're probably going to leave Barney in the back for now. It really doesn't have any useful moves at this point, so we'll kind of have to wait to see if that thing learns anything. But let's go ahead and switch the lead up here. We could put, um, well, Chiding at 24. The team is looking pretty damn well balanced. Um, you know what? We'll actually just, we're just going to leave Farfetch'd because Rock Smashes are looking pretty useful at this point. And we're just going to give you a nice little Super Potion. So, also, we're going to give one to Snowball as well. We have not forgotten about you, Snowball. Just assuming that there's going to be lots of rocks types. It's nice to have our fighting boy in front. Anyway, here we got ourselves three Dusk Balls, uh, which work well catching Pokemon in dark environments. So, in caves, it's perfect. 
Also, we're going to fish again because I'm determined to find something other than a damn barboach or a Magikarp. So let's see if we can get something interesting. And it's just another barboach. Still waiting for our first shiny Pokemon. If my first shiny ends up being something that's not from the Gala region, I'm going to be upset. Like if I just got a shiny barboach right now, I would be... I would be inclined to use it in this Let's Play. And, oh, jeez, the thing just spawned right under... What the hell is that? That is a Galarian Stunfisk, ladies and gentlemen, and it's a bear trap. I just stepped in this thing. What the hell? It's level 25, too, so we could definitely just add this to the team. No idea what type Galarian Stunfisk is going to be. Rock Smash is super effective, though, so that's good to know. We got a nice little crit there, knock it down to below half, and it's going to revenge. So, yo, I did not... Oh, my God, look at that animation. I love him so much. Stunfisk is one of the Pokemon that definitely needed a new form. We're going to use one of these Dusk Balls. And, uh, dude, how did I go all this time without realizing that Stunfisk has a Galarian form? That's actually a super cool one, too. Uh, now it's going to mud shot, so we're just going to keep trying to catch this thing. I would like to catch it in Dusk Balls. I'm afraid to kill it with a crit. I mean, we'll probably be able to find another one, I assume. Let's go for a Fury Cutter here. Just see how much it's going to do. Not much. Knock it down a little bit more, though, which is great. Take another Revenge, which does knock out Chiding, which is unfortunate, but we'll be able to revive you, buddy. It's all good. Definitely going to use next Pokemon. Let's go into Snowball, and Headbutt should be... Should be good to knock this thing into range. I would like to catch it in a Dusk Ball, just because it would look freaking cool. Can you imagine stepping on one of these things in real life? That shit would hurt. It's going to metal sound now. That lowers your physical defenses, I believe, two stages. Or is it special defense? It is special defense. Okay. One more headbutt. We'll get this thing into nice catching range. I don't know if I'm going to use Stunfisk on the team, but I at least want to catch this thing, just so we have the option. And, uh, all right, so defenses are looking not so hot at this point in time, but it's fine. Also, something to notice is that if we just mash, if we just hit X, it's going to use our most recent item, which is actually really cool. You don't have to go all the way into the bag, and that's something I never noticed before, so. There's something new. And, damn, it just hops directly out. Stunfisk, what the hell? Going to get off a mud shot, which does a bunch because of it. Defenses are trash, and come on, our last Dusk Ball chance. Please let me have you, Stunfisk. We need a flat Stanley. Yes. Fuck! I thought we were going to have it there, so... We're not going to be able to catch it in... A Dusk Ball. It's also going to knock out Snowball, too. Dude, we out here taking a damn beating. Might as well just run back to the Poke Center at this point after we catch this thing. Alright, let's go into... <laughs> we'll go into Dexter. You, you got nothing on Dexter. If you want to keep playing hard to get, we're going to end up killing you, buddy. All right, let's see if a Great Ball can do it. Not sure at what point we'll get Ultra Balls. It's probably not going to be for a little while, but Great Balls are going to have to freaking do it for now. Come on. Damn it. Really having a hard time catching stuff ever since I was saying how we caught everything first try before. We're just out here having a hell of a time. Come on, Great Ball. Also, I might even run back and go grab some more Pokeballs. I'm assuming we're going to find some... All new stuff to catch, so. Bro. Please. Stop being so difficult, Stunfisk. I think Revenge does double damage if it moves second. I'm not sure how that works on if we're just throwing Pokeballs. Technically, I guess that works as a turn, so. Alright, this is the one. I'm feeling it. This is it, right here. Yes! We got it! Stunfisk was caught. Bear Trap Stunfisk. An absolute beast. So we get some experience there. Tootsie level 25. Nice. Alright, let's see this thing's dex entry. So it's ground in steel type. Living in mud with a high iron content has given it a strong steel body. <laughs> it is adapted to its environment. We are going to name you Stanley. Because you are our, our flat Stanley. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to end up using this thing. We already have one Galarian form on our team. Uh, we're just going to send this to a box. But we have the opportunity to use that if we feel like it. So, I like how it was like we stepped on it too. It wasn't really there. You just kind of have to come across it. Also, there is a barbar or a binnacle, which is cool. We're going to head back on out. We're going to go back to the Poke Center just to get a nice little heal. And also, I'm going to pick up some more 
potions as well. Yo, the bicycle would be a little bit difficult to control when you when you be zooming like that. Mm. Ah. Ah. <laughs> what the fuck? Bicycle, why why are you like this? Alright, we're in. Took me three tries, but we're in, boys. Okay. So we'll get a nice little heal up. Sorry about uh, letting two of you get destroyed by a freaking stun fisk, but it had to happen. So I'm also really excited to see when our uh, squire evolves into a knight. That should be interesting. Congratulations, now you can purchase more items. So this should be cool. We're here to buy. Uh, we're gonna grab some more great balls. I don't know what other items we're able to buy now. We're gonna get 20 more of these bad boys. Also, we really need to get to the point where I can buy some new clothes too. I've realized we haven't bought any new clothes in quite some time. And I feel like I should probably get on that soon. Need to get more swagged out. We still don't have like a super crazy amount of money though, which is unfortunate. But the time will come soon enough. Back on the bicycle. Instantly change into our weird looking clothes. I don't know if I'm too crazy about the bicycle clothes in this game. The colors. I mean, I think you can actually change the colors. But still, just be looking, be looking weird. All right. Ooh, there's Noibats too. And Shuckle. Little nudes. We're going to run into this thing. Could you imagine if it was a shiny Shuckle? We have our little noodle friend, Shuckle. There's actually a lot of Pokemon you can find in this area. I dig it. We are going to run from you, though, Shuckle. Sorry about that, buddy. Not too interested in catching you. Being chased by the Scraggy. All right. Back to where we left off. That's what these things are. They're freaking Stunfisk traps. I never stepped on the one before. But, yeah, if you get close to this thing, it'll snap you up. Very interesting. Got another trainer here. What is up? When I'm tired of work, it's time for a battle. I'll show you the muscles I've built up. Let's see them. Show me your muscles, Yvonne. She has a rog and rolla. So we are absolutely about to break this thing in half with our leak. Had to do it to him. Only level 20, so... You could find level 25 stun fists in the wild, but... This lady comes through with the level 20 rug and roll. It has weak armor, so it's going to lower its defenses. When you get hit with a super effective move, uh, it does increase your speed, but lowers your defenses. Smackdown. It doesn't hurt too bad because we are fighting type. It's still going to take a little bit of time for me to get used to Farfetch'd new type. This boy cannot fly anymore because he's, he's too busy holding his sword and his shield. Which I suppose makes sense. So, rug and roll goes down. Next is a Timber. So, these people like to have timbers, and it's a great opportunity for us to use our Tootsie. So, we'll bring in this lad and just absolutely pluck the shit out of you. Tootsie had a tough time in the last gym battle because I did not know the typing of Dreadnought, and that isn't entirely on me, but I guess that's how it goes when you play through a Pokemon game for the first time. Essentially blind, so. Go ahead and pluck you right in your weird, gross veins. Honestly, timber is always. This whole evolution line is just always like, the grossest Pokemon to me, it feels, seems like. Why do they have to have the veins like that, man? The muscles I use for work and battle are different. You don't say. Well, continuing on, we have ourselves a Grip Claw. Item to be held by a Pokemon extends the duration of multi-turn attacks, which is actually kind of cool. And then we also have a new fish. Hey, look at the Gastrodon in the water over there. I don't know. We can't get in the water yet. I know that at some point we'll be able to use our bicycle. Um, to like surf on the water, but not yet apparently. So we fished up a little Chewtool, which is cool. We're just gonna run from you though. Don't have much business catching you, so we continue this way. And ooh, if you run across <laughs> the Stunfist traps, they can't get you. Also, we got some more freaking Team Yell people here. What are you assholes doing? Excuse me, mate. Sorry to bother you. You're one of them taking part in the gym challenge, right? I sure am. Crikey, but that's really something. I love a battle against a great trainer like you. Well, look at you, Hayden. Hey, and Hop shows up. What's up, buddy? Surrounded by adoring fans, eh? You'll even be, sh you'll even be showing up late pretty soon. Oi, jog on, mate. Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation here? <laughs> yeah, jog on, bruh. Can't you see that I'm Hop the trainer? He'll be, be your next champion? So you got a joker here, eh? You're so funny, I forgot to laugh. Think I'm joking? I'll prove it then. I think a battle with you would be a lot, uh, you lot would be, would definitely end some laughs. I, I, I cannot read. I apologize. Let's take them together, Hayden. You ready, mate? 
Let's do it. So we are going to do a nice little double battle with our boy Hop. The two of us were endorsed by the champion himself. I'll show you just what that means. Well, if you insist, Team Yell is going to teach you kids that the gym challenge no joke. You better not be Yell. Oh, what? Wanted to knock off challengers one at a time. Well, so double battles are always fun. Kind of cool when we get to battle with Hop as well. So two Team Yell grunts with their weird little, uh, little horns. They have a... Ooh, that's our first time seeing the Galarian uh, Lanoon, which is kind of cool. So Hop has his his Wooloo, of course. We are going to Rock Smash on the Thievil. Fighting is a super effective on both of these since these guys always end up using Dark Types. Sir Fetched is always a good option. So I'm going to lower my accuracy, which is annoying, and then also going to Tail Whip me as well. Why do you got to team up on me? Also, I love how back there they're just like perfectly in sync doing their, doing their little fist pump. All right, so Rock Smash kills the Thievil. Mostly just kept the Lanoon alive because we love that boy. Down goes the Thievil. Experience all around. Snowball, level 25, looking nice. And double kick, perfect. Not quite going to be able to kill this thing. But we appreciate the effort, little Wooloo. How come your Wooloo hasn't evolved yet, boy? I'm going to need you to get on that. Also, next is a Lipard. So there's a new one we have not seen. I think we actually have seen a Lipard in the, um, in the wild area, but... I just really like the dark type, so I think I I feel like I like this evil team just because of their choice in in Pokemon. This, this Lanoon's gonna use Night Slash. It does attack the Wooloo in Sweet Jesus. That did a lot. Bro, Hop, your your Wooloo needs some work, friend. Rock smash the hell out of you. Down goes the Light Parts. This guy's out of Pokemon now. It's just gonna time for us to gang up on these things. Also, his Wooloo hasn't attacked yet, right? Shading wants to learn Detect. We are gonna keep old moves. No real real point in using Detect, so it's fine. And he's going to make his Wooloo Defense Curl. Why would you do that? You could have just double kicked and sped up this whole damn process, buddy. But that's fine. We're just going to kill it with a Fury Cutter, because we can. Maybe save some Rock Smashes. But it is going to Sand Attack. So that's the second time we've had Sand kicked in our freaking eyes. And we do not hit the freaking Fury Cutter. But Wooloo does get off the double kick, though, so it doesn't really matter at all anyway. Down goes Lanoon, and there's one left. We haven't really seen... So these people are all, like, fanboys to Marnie or whatever her name is. We haven't seen her around lately. Next is a Pancham. Cool. So with my accuracy dropped, it is going to be kind of difficult, but we're just going to hope that we can hit this Rock Smash. Yeah, and we do. It should kill it. Nope, not quite. With the critical hit, almost does the trick. Does lower its defense, which does not matter. So we just need Wooloo. Yep, why would you tackle? I guess it's neutral, and then tackle actually was the better option. Just kidding, Hop. Just kidding. Great job using using your stab move there, buddy. All right. So the grunts have been defeated. Are you gonna yell at us because we because we up and yell lost? Uh, probably. If I'd used a horn, would I had a better chance of winning? Uh, not really sure what the hell you're talking about, but little mugs, the champion's little brother. Guess that's what you get when your older brother's not useless. I know we're team yell, but we'll leave quietly once we're beaten. <laughs> So they head out nice and peacefully. Nice one, Hayden. That's my rival for you. Now then, where could Kabu have gone off to? Let's keep going. Maybe he's further in. So we are looking for the fire type gym leader. So we will continue our search as that is a wild dreadnought right there. What in the hell? It's going to come after me now. Luckily, seems to be pretty damn slow. Let's run into this thing. I kind of want to catch you. Don't know if I want to use a dreadnought, but we do want to try to catch lots of new stuff. This episode, we're going to kind of dedicate to taking our time and just, I guess, seeing what we can uh, seeing what we can find. Giving some options for the team. This thing's going to hit us with a headbutt. Does hurt quite a bit. That was a crit, that's why. Damn you, Dreadnought. So, Rock Smash. Knocks you down into pretty decent range. We also get a defense drop. And I kind of want to go for... Let's go for a Fury Cutter here. With that defense drop, we'll see how much this is able to do. Uh, that bite is going to do a nice little chunk. Takes a nice bite out of my leak, and we missed. Fury Cutter, come on. What the hell? I was going to rock tomb, so. Toss some damn rocks at me. We need Chiding to not die here. That would be great. All right, Fury Cutter just about knocks it to red. Which is unfortunate. I really wish that would have. But let's go ahead and switch here. Let's go into... Let's go into Nugget, just because we'll be able to take attacks from this thing nicely. And then we're just going to hug a shit ton of balls at this thing. 
Also, Nugget needs to stretch out his little wheels. Dude's been cooped up in the damn Pokeball for too long. All right. Time to throw some balls at this thing. Unless we... Let's actually Rapid Spin it once. That'll maybe knock it down into red, hopefully. Rapid Spin has, like, no, no power. It might not even do it. Freaking crit. Stop that. And we flinched. God damn it. We just want to get this thing into red so I can throw Pokeballs at it. Dreadnought. Help me out here. Oh my god, we flinched again? Jesus. Stop that. If you, if you flinch me one more time, we're just going to start hucking balls. Yeah, we get the rapid spin off. Watch, it's going to do nothing. All right, well, it does actually knock it down at a perfect range. All right, we're fine. We got our nice little speed boost there. It doesn't really matter. And it is time to see how our great balls are going to do. We have 35 of these bad boys. Not sure what the catch rate would be on something like a Dreadnought, but that did not even shake once, so it's looking like it's pretty difficult. And this thing does actually have water gun still from when it was a freaking... Okay, that... We didn't see it using water gun the whole time until now. Oh, Jesus. All right, well... We're bringing in Dexter, who is the dedicated Pokemon catcher. All right. Come on, Great Balls. We need this Dreadnought. It looks badass. I can't believe how nerdy and small they make as pre-evolution. I and mean, they make this thing just an absolute beast badass. And we are able to catch it. Nice. Dreadnought has been caught. Let's take a look at this thing's Pokedex entry. Dexter level 27. Tootsie level 26. Alright. So this thing is a water and rock type with jaws that can shear through steel rods. The highly aggressive Pokemon chomps down on its unfortunate prey. Cool. We will give you a nickname. We are going to name you Snappa. Because you would not want to get caught in this thing snapping jaws. Uh, we're just going to send this to a box for now because I like how the team is currently. So we shall continue. Uh, also, we do need to use up a nice little potion on you, sir. We're just going to let Chiding keep ripping through. He seems to be pretty ideal for, uh, for this area here with that rock smash. Also, let's use a... We have max revives, but we also have regular revives. Going to use those. Nugget, we're just going to give you a regular one just so you're alive enough to be able to get experience from the EXP share. So, we continue on. Oh, that's Greg. He almost got me. There's a fishing spot there. And there is a hidden item here. A bag of soft sand. Loose silky sand that boosts the power of ground type moves, which is cool. Going to avoid that stun fisk trap. And, uh... Got ourselves another trainer. What trainer class are you, sir? Steam power can send any opponent flying. Oh, really? Rail Staff Vincent. What the hell are you doing in the... I mean, I guess there is... Like, minecart rails. So he has a Drillbur, which is cool. We love ourselves some Drillbur. This is a perfect... This is a very, very fitting Pokemon to have in this area. Uh, so Rock Smash is going to do the trick. Um, unless we don't get a critical hit, which we did that time. Raises its speed, and now it is actually faster, so it's going to rapid spin again. And I'm calling it now, in the competitive metagame for this game, Excadrill is going to be top tier. That thing is going to be the best rapid spinner around. It's already super fast, so I guess it doesn't really benefit much from rapid spin, but still. Next is an Onyx. Um, I guess we'll just stay in here on Onyx. I haven't seen an Onyx since the first one we saw in the wild area. Let's we'll go ahead and absolutely smash your rock body, sir. No critical. Oh, that was a critical hit. Did a decent amount. Get that defense drop. Does not matter at all. Now it's going to curse. A little bit too late to be cursing, Onyx. A little bit too late. Also, as I was thinking about it before, uh, when you get to that first wild area, you could encounter super high level Pokemon. And I was thinking, how crazy would it be if you just got lucky enough to actually catch one of those? But it turns out that if you try throwing a Pokeball at. Uh, one of those high-leveled Pokemon in the wild area, it actually doesn't let you catch them. So, it makes sense, because they can't let people have a level 35 Steelix before the first gym. <laughs> what incredible power! Guess I was the one sent flying. And I say Steelix because we did see a Steelix in the wild area as well. But, alright, that guy's been defeated. There's a TM over here. It is Sand Tomb. Decent ground move. Cool. So... Oh, I spent too much time on the Stunfist trap. Damn it. 
that's annoying. It's actually a cool concept. It's got like a little Pokeball there, so you like think it's gonna be an item. It just angles the end like the angler fish. All right. Another Stunfisk there. So here we have Hop. There's some more shenanigans with these guys, and it's it's the, it's the dude. Thank you for helping me out with my training team yell, but I must say it's unforgivable for you to try to get in the way of Carkle hard work. Work getting in its way, trying to cheer it on. Still, you did a number on us in that Pokemon battle, so it's time for Team Yell to scarper and give a morale boost elsewhere. Time to time to what? What the hell did you just say? Cheering is one thing. Yep, Gore. That's Kabu, man. He's wicked. No wonder he's the fire type gym leader. No wonder. Ah, you're the trainers endorsed by Leon. Hop and Hayden, am I right? Just training up, training right up until the last moment, so I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you, gym challengers. Hey, no fair. I specialize in fire type Pokemon and the water type Pokemon in Gallarmine. Number two are the perfect opponents, opponents to train against. Why would they be the perfect opponents to train against? I mean, maybe to work on your weaknesses? Just go straight once you get out of this mine and you'll reach Motostoke. Get a good rest at the hotel. Make sure you're both in top condition. Come on, Karkul. Time for you to head on home, too. I'll make sure you get there safely. All right. So we know he's going to have a Karkul. And it's looking like... Our, our starter boy is going to be looking uh, pretty useful. I remember Lee talking about Kabu. He said that a lot of gym challengers give up because they just can't beat Kabu. Man, now I'm getting all fired up too. <laughs> so I guess we're pretty much out of the mine then. Yeah, not a whole lot. Not a, not a very big area. Which is nice. I think Pokemon has realized that people don't like spending too much time in caves. I mean, they're cool. Especially that cave. The cool design and stuff. But caves are just annoying. I guess I must have been, been here on a job. You do know about Poke jobs by now, right? Uh, Pokey what? Looks like there's no help in it in that case. Settle down and let Professor Hop teach you a thing or two. Let's see if I can can remember what Lee had written down in his old notebooks. Basically, you can have your Pokemon go about and help companies or other folks who are in need of something. You can take Pokejumps from the Rotomi any, at any Pokemon Center. So give it a look sometime. Now I'm cream crackered. You're what? I'm for the butt who drop in and some sleep. Come tomorrow, that fired gym leader Kabu better be ready because I'll be coming for him. We can give our Pokemon jobs? What? Hey, we got a Noctowl and Sudowoodos everywhere. Look at these guys just walking around. Super cool. We have ourselves an amulet coin there, which is nice. That is perfect. We're going to give that to somebody just to be able to get a bunch of money. We've got to leave the stick on Farfetch, though. Uh, let's give... Man, everybody's items are honestly kind of useful. But I would like to have the amulet coin. We're going to swap... We're going to swap uh, the mystic water um, I'm gonna give you the amulet coin when you have it on your first Pokemon it raises the amount of money uh, raises the amount of pri prize money received if the holding Pokemon joins in battle so we'll give that to you we're gonna swap it with the mystic water our water moves are already gonna be pretty nice anyway so we'll probably be okay with that so let us continue oh my Jesus this motherfucker just came running right at me wild sock just Straight up, that was the worst possible thing. In, in real life, if this thing came charging at me, I, w I do not know what I would do. This thing slaps your girlfriend's ass, what do you do? And we can't run from it either. Oh, jeez, it's gonna low sweep me. Oh, God. Am I gonna have to battle you, sir? I think I am. Looks like it looks like a job for Tootsie. Jesus, I could have avoided that, but I was just... I was not ready. Big-ass Papa Smurf comes and just smacks my ass. Alright, so this thing's gonna quick guard now. So interesting to see that Sock made it back. Which means throw is probably in this game as well. Two pretty decent fighting types. I like the Gen 5s. A lot of Gen 5 mons in this game, it seems like, so far as well. Pluck doesn't quite knock it out, but one more. We could honestly probably use this experience anyway. We're about to do the fire gym battle, so. Love to see all the experience we can get. One more pluck is going to do it to you. Haven't seen any new Pokemon other than uh, the Galarian Stunfisk yet. Assuming there will be some stuff on this route, though. So, Jesus, that was scary. Okay, so Noctowl's breaking everywhere. Found three Great Balls, which is nice. Let's run into something wild here, just to see what it's going to be. It is heckin' Scraggy, uh, which is fine. We can actually just... Brick break the shit out of you. Get a little bit more experience. Level 22. Uh, we're low on health, but we should be fine here. Let's just go ahead and crit it and kill it immediately. Yep, that's how you do it. Don't even need to crit. 
pull up your pants, you damn hoodlum. Young hoodlum Scraggy. Interesting. Scraggy's all over the place. All right. We have another trainer here, so we should definitely heal. Chiding is level 26, though. We could switch it up. But I think we're, we're going to dedicate this episode to just Chiding just destroying stuff. Young Pokemon trainer, won't you honor me with a battle? I sure will. Absolutely honor you, Madam Caroline. So you got a Yamper. Man, I hate when they have Yampers because that means I have to kill a Yamper. And that makes me too damn sad. Uh, we're just going to give you a Rock Smash. Looks like this thing would be like electric normal type, but just pure electric. Also, we haven't seen what Yamper evolves into yet, and that's something that I am definitely excited to see. Yamper goes down. It's kind of unfortunate that it loses its Corgi form, though, assuming it does. Next is a Swoobat. Definitely going to switch out on a Swoobat. We could go into Barney, but I think it's just going to take a Psychic Attack and get hurt, so we're not going to let that happen. Let's go into Snowball. Um, actually, no, we're going, we're going Nugget. False Alarm. Nugget is a little bit hurting, but he should be fine. There's no way this Swoobat can hit us too hard. So we haven't actually seen an evolved Woobat yet. So a Swoobat comes out looking even uglier than his first form. Uh, are we going to Rock Blast? I think actually we have higher special attack. Is that what we noticed before with Nugget? Air Cutter critical hit. Does a little bit of damage. And now this Rock Blast, you're not going to have a good time with that. If we hit at least three times, we'll be good. Yes, and we do. Down goes your freaking gross bat. I like how he's got the heart nose. Such a weird Pokemon. Alright, experience all around. Nugget goes to 27. Wants to learn Incinerate. That burns berries, I believe. Incinerate, 60 power. Uh, attacks opposing Pokemon with fire. If Pokemon is holding a certain item, such as a berry, item becomes burned and unusable. Um, so, we actually do have higher physical attack. We're probably going to not teach that. Even though it's 10 more power than Flame Charge... We need to do more with physical moves. We're going to not learn Incinerate. We'll be okay. And Caroline's been defeated. Hopefully you give me a lot of money. 4,800. Yes. Them old people be rich. Just looking for hidden items or anything out of the ordinary. Also, is this a freaking police officer? We finally actually find a police officer? What do you got for me, buddy? Hello, hello, what's all this then? Fancy a scrap with a copper? Oh my god. The dialogue in this game. Fancy a scrap with a copper. Police officer Raymond here. Has a Growlithe, which is fitting for the police officers. Love to see it. Alright, Chiding. Let's go ahead and beat up a Growlithe. We did see Vulpix earlier. I wonder if Growlithe is only native to... Shield version? But I'm not sure. Because I know we did see Vulpix. I know that they're usually kind of counterparts. Critical hit's going to knock this thing out. Down you go, Growlithe. What else do you got? Does he have anything else? I didn't even notice. Tootsie goes to level 27. And that, that's all he got. That's all he's got. He seems pretty happy about getting his ass beat. Police brutality. <laughs> Alright, so we got ourselves another bridge here. Which there are usually a lot of, uh, a lot of hidden items. I, I know that I definitely missed a lot on the other bridge. But like right here, there is going to be a health feather, which is cool. Another one right here. They're all feathers, though. It's a muscle, muscle feather, which is cool. Probably good to stock up on as many of those as possible. Swift feather. And is there another trainer right before the end? Nope. My Corviknight got all rested up, so it's already headed off to its next Poke job. Nice. So we have arrived back in Moto Stoke City. There's our initial freaking... Are there just multiples of these guys, or is it the same one that just beats me everywhere? All right, so we're supposed to head to the hotel again. This is the initial place we stayed when we did the opening ceremony. So we are back. Everything came full circle. We are much more powerful now. And would you look who it is? Hey, she's got a little more Pico. What's up, girl? Uh, Challenger Hayden, right? Out giving it all. Out giving it your all. Even this late, huh? I sure am. Hey, help me with something for a sec. I want to see if I'm ready for the next leg of the gym challenge. Um, I'm just going to say all right. Wicked, got some fight in you, huh? Well, we're just going to battle her straight away. Maybe she will date us if she knows we're, we're cool. <laughs> All right, Marnie here has three Pokemon. You got a Krogunk. And uh, I probably should have healed up before this, but I think we'll be all right. 
They all, she also has her little fanboys back there. No way. There's no way I'm going to lose. All right, well, level 24, Krogunk. We're just going to go right into Tootsie, who is actually hurting. And I probably should have definitely said no and just healed up, but I think we'll be okay. Too nervous to eat berries. I'm going to go for a revenge, which is fine. I'm going to pluck the shit out of you now, buddy. All you've done is angered Tootsie. And pluck just one hit KOZ. Level 24 at Krogunk. Is she going to be pure poison type? Or fighting type? What's, what do you got going on here? Jiding 27. Next is a Morpico. Yes, I do not remember at all what type fucking Morpico is. All right, let's go into Dexter just to get you a little bit of experience. Of experience, if I could talk, before we get to the gym leader, so. I think we're probably good in terms of levels, though, to be honest. So here we have the more Pico. Have not seen one of these things yet. It has two forms, which is very interesting. We're gonna go for a water pulse. I don't think this, no, I was gonna say, I don't think this thing is fucking electric type, but it definitely, it definitely is just a Pikachu clone, so obviously. I thought for some reason it was just pure dark, or something like that. Well, electric dark, maybe? Water pulse is gonna do about half, and it actually is gonna turn it into... The angry boy. So we do not want to take another Thundersock. Jesus. Let's go into... We could go into Barney. Or we could go into Snowball, which is probably a safer option. Barney's not able to do too much damage to this thing. I do not remember the typings of these. I know I initially saw it when more Pika was announced, but for some reason I didn't think it was fucking going to have Thundersock. I don't know. Well, Snowball can take that nicely. Now it's going to turn back into its regular form. I don't understand this thing too much, really. Let's go for a double kick. Oh, what's going on? I think this move expresses my feelings. What do you think? Just gonna go for a bite. Oops. She wants to bite me, boys. Oh, and we get flinched. But it does activate our Steadfast, though. So, hey, Steadfast actually did something. Love to see it. Now it's gonna turn back into the evil one. This thing's it's not gotta be dark type, right? We're gonna hit it with a double kick, just to see. Yep, sure is. Double kick is gonna do it. I still have to figure out how the hell more Pico works. It turns into its hangry form after it attacks, or I, I don't know. But it's dead, so we're good. What do you got for me next? Barney Griddle level 25. Dexter 28. Getting up there. Next is a Scraggy. Nice. All right, so for Scraggy, we're going right back into Chiding, who is level 27. We've gotten quite a few levels this episode, which is very nice. All right, fetched. Be no fun if things ended just yet. That's why we aren't giving up. So, yeah, she seems to have some pretty emo mons. Our goth girlfriend. Rock Smash gonna destroy your Scraggy. It does actually live it, though. No critical hit. Now it's able to get off a low kick, which is fine. And damn, that actually hurts. Now there's a Super Potion. These people always use Super Potions at the wrong damn time. You know you're slower, and you know this next one's just gonna knock you right down to the same spot. Is it slower, actually? I don't even... I don't remember. You can hear the defense drop. There's no more potion shenanigans for you. And yep, we are faster with another Rock Smash. Down goes her last Pokemon. Very nice. Tons of experience. Marty's been defeated. You beat me. Guess he must not be too bad after all, huh? Get six thousand two hundred and forty dollars for winning. We're looking solid. Guess I better get out, get to bed, and rest up for tomorrow. You better get some sleep too. Don't worry. I'll get some sleep. We shall meet again. All right. So time to see. We do get healed up, and I'm guessing it's just like we went to sleep, and now it's the next day. Or something like that. There's that super cool statue. The next morning. So we, we meet her in the next morning. Morning, Hayden. What's happening? That friend of yours already went off to challenge the next gym. Kami's league card is supposed to help against him, but I ended up with a few copies, so I'll give you one. Don't look so chuffed. It's no big deal. Thank you. We get ourselves a Kabu League card. Take this too. A little something for our battle yesterday. Nice. And she gives us two burn heals. Thank you. That should be helpful in the fire gym. But you'll have no trouble beating that man of fire. Kabu chap, right? Why don't you get over to Motostoke Stadium and get that gym badge already? Alright. Time to get that there gym badge. You know what I want to do though? We need to go... I wonder if you can even open the camping thing indoors. Let's check out the Pokemon camp real quick, because I want to see... I want to see the new boys in it. We have our little baby. He is fucking adorable. Crawl to me, son. Crawl to me, my son. <laughs> yes. 
Also, we got Surfetched looking beastly over here. Oh. Everybody just wants to take the spotlight, huh? We want to see far Farfetched. <laughs> Look at the side. Okay, hold on. What happens if we... Let's take out our toy. Oh, that, that pissed him off. Oh, Jesus. Just attack me, okay? That's fine. Let's go ahead and huck this thing for you. Go get it, Farfetched. Go get it, buddy. <laughs> yes. He's getting it. Oh my god, I love it. I love him so much. Thanks, friend. Well, that is going to end it for this episode, guys. We've finished off on a nice little little camping note there. We also get some experience for doing that, which is kind of funny. Jadin gets 100 experience just because he got the ball. Good job, buddy. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed. And I will be back with more soon.